currently in wet rainy Wales spending some alone time for our anniversary. We were having a fantastic time climbing one of the UK's biggest mountains and going for a dip in a freezing cold river. Until we got a notification from our old estate agents which kind of put a dampener on this whole trip. Do you get it? You what? Know, like a dampener. Because our old house was damp. Oh, okay. <laughs> they basically took our money without asking, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. We didn't let that ruin our trip away, so. No. And we filmed the whole thing so you guys can come along with us, so let's go back to the day we arrived. Definitely coffee. You've been a bit stingy with these. Are they less chocolatey than usual? So it's 8 in the morning? Yeah, after he clickbaited you, filmed his alarm going off at 6am, didn't get out of bed till 7. Problem with sleeping in the van, bed's that uncomfortable. You don't really sleep. I don't usually complain about beds. I think our van is like the worst night's sleep I've probably ever had. It's as if there's not even a mattress there. It's like sleeping on a plank of wood. But either way, we're climbing a mountain today. You might have heard of her. She's called Snowden. <laughs> Why do we do this? It's actually our anniversary weekend, which we do every single year. We go away for the weekend, grandparents take cosy. This isn't usually what we do on our anniversary, but we were a bit last minute in booking, so yeah. So we're just casually climbing a mountain. In my Making Myself Uncomfortable series, I suppose climbing a mountain would be a big achievement because it's something I wouldn't really do. I've climbed half of it. Walking checklist. Here Let's we go. go. Already. Go. Right. Bagels. Check. Penguins. Honeymoon. Sorry. Water. Should we take some Gaviscon in case we get a bad case of acid? No. If you get acid up a mountain, you're going to be regretting saying no there. Okay. What about a headache? Should we take paracetamol? You never know. Yep. Yeah, okay. Spare trousers. Because <laughs> his trousers don't fit. I bought a size too small and they don't quite do up, but I'm risking it for a biscuit. Uh, I'm just going to take my Star Wars uh, pyjama bottoms. No, you're not. What? Just in case? Yeah, it's a backup. Oh, lovely. Raincoats. Hats. Check. Nice. Get it. Right. Let's go climb a mountain. <laughs> Happy anniversary! It's not our anniversary yet. But it's an anniversary oh. challenge. I tell you what, what else will we be doing right now than a lovely challenge for our anniversary? Right, I'm playing that back about halfway up. So we've just got here and realised that, well, there's a train that takes you down. Um, but yeah, we were planning on getting the train back down. Unfortunately, the train <laughs> is not running because it's out of season, so we have to do the whole Snowden experience. I think I'm dreading coming down more than I'm dreading coming up. <laughs> Should we just go home? What are we doing? I'll tell you what, Janice, my legs are burning already. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. We're not past the cattle grid. This is the incline we're currently working with. Woo! Although what I will say is, this is the most unfit I've ever been in my life. But look at us, we're all tired out. Look at your shoes. Oh, they're beautiful. I've got me walkers on. We're doing it properly. Oh my God. Get your rat on, will you? Oh, I hope I don't have asthma attack. <laughs> <laughs> We've just had some OAPs walk past us. Are we a bit unfit? Uh, you're the one who stopped. Oh, okay. I'm going to blame it on the extra weight I've got. Okay. I have offered to take it. All right, let's just turn this off now. You're making me look weak. I think it's been about five minutes since the last clip. <laughs> My hat's on. I've got a banana. Already? Liana's taken the bag. I have taken the bag. I'm just not made for this, clearly. This is not the lifestyle I was born. Oh, oh, this is horrible. This was your idea. If you're going to complain the whole way. Yeah, of course I am. That's what I do. So we've only, I mean, we're there at the red dot. We've done nothing and I feel like I'm dying. Look, there's a red circle around that bit. What does that mean? Don't know, but there's a hazard sign. What? Accident, black spot, very dangerous under snow and ice. Yeah, well, we're fine. If that ain't a warning to turn around, I don't Come know what on. is. Oh. oh, are you sure? Pit stop one. <laughs> we're on day three. Not a sign of human life out here. I don't know if we're gonna make it back alive. We're scavenging. Make sure you subscribe. Every subscribe is one prayer. I found some raspberries, but they look a bit poisonous to me. We found an apple. 
But we don't know if it is a safe apple or if it's one of those poison poporous berries. I think we need to feed it to the sheep first to see its reaction. But it's okay, because we found some penguins. <laughs> <laughs> and later, I'm going on a date. This is really making me question our life choices right now. Yeah, but there's not much air up here to be fair. I can't, it's very tight up here. Just... Such an old man! Bye bye, rock. Why did we do this? Hello! That's outrageous, that is. <laughs> that is outrageous. That's just rubbing it in. We'll do it one day. No, we bloody won't. I'm stopping at points and she's like, no, come on, let's get to the top. There'll be a nice rock up there to perch your bottom. So you've got a stronger mental than me, you must have. Me. <laughs> Oh, I think I might have offended him. I think I've become one of those people that protect... Oh my gosh, what's that? A wild Snowdonian bafta bird. Oh my gosh, what noise do they make? Wow, they haven't been seen in the wild for years. Anyway, what I was saying is I think I'm one of those people that stops to pretend to enjoy the environment so I can have a breather. Wow, guys, look at that. It looks exactly the same as it did 10 minutes ago, a bit further down. Woo! We should stop here and take some pictures. Well, whilst we stop, we may as well have a snack. We are officially at the hut that we got to five years ago yeah. when we'd first, no, not first met. Well, this is the first time you've come to Wales, isn't First it? time I ever came to Wales to meet Liana. We decided we were going to do Snowden. This is the point we got to when someone was coming down and told us... You shouldn't go up. You shouldn't go up anymore because it's, it was getting, getting dark. dark we started too late. Icy. So this time, you know, five years later, we're actually going to go further and hopefully complete. Well, you, you, you finished it, so this for me... No, but not together. Is... Oh, let's have a stretch. I don't think you're supposed to stretch halfway through all exercise. Well, I'm doing all right. Gareth over here. He's trying to steal his penguin. He's trying to steal my penguin. I didn't realise they ate other animals. I've seen a seagull eat a rabbit before. What? Yeah. In real life? No. <laughs> Terrain getting rougher. Legs getting weaker, head getting wet, breathing getting bleaker. So we're at like one of the steepest parts. We're having a little sit down before we actually do it. Yeah, I'm scared about coming down. I actually want to come down. That's the only thing getting me through growing up, knowing that I get to come down. I'm thinking about my salmon bagel. That's also getting me through it. We don't know where we are, like in terms of how far how, up are yeah, we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a bit like, are we, are we nearly there? Are we nowhere near there? So we have a little bit of a cry on this rock. We're in the clouds now, so the views are pretty much disappearing. We decided to do this, we're gonna do it. Well, we can't, yeah, we can't stop now, can we? Determination for the nation. If that sheep can do it. I feel like that sheep's been doing it over the past God knows how many years. You think though, he's got good quads? I, mean? <laughs> I think he's gonna, you know, just a little bit. But he's got a healthy diet as well, so. Yeah, grass, maybe I should try some. I think we're losing it, aren't we? So <laughs> carry on walking. Some people call it the stairway to heaven. Bobby man! <laughs> yeah, you leave me alone, I'm doing a monologue. I call it the stairway to hell. Even though it's going upwards, it certainly isn't heaven-like. I, I genuinely... Why do we do this? Just so we can sing some Welsh songs to get us in the mood, you know? I'm a lady, question me. Lord! Lord! It's been hours, we're now officially going but what I like to call a snail's pace as the air gets denser and denser Salmon bagel, salmon bagel, salmon bagel You do a bit of a dance while you go in it <laughs> There's no way you've got the energy for that And there she goes. You know it's bad when you're oh on your second God. penguin. Oh, and also, would you want to fall off there? Well, I don't know if we can't see. My guess is no, you wouldn't. It could be about to check my bottom. You reckon? Should we have a look? Oh my, that is, that is scary. Would you like to say a few words? I love you, mummy. We love you, Sandra. Yeah, we're not far from you, Sandra. Thinking of you. If we die, you can have podge, Sandra, because we know how much you love animals. Oh, careful. Yeah. If you're gonna trip, let me get it on camera. No, that's gotta be it. You reckon that's the top? That's gotta be it. The last stretch is flipping horrendous. Oh man, feel the burn.
tonight we've made an accomplishment because the OAPs we've caught up with the Oaks. I can see them from here with their snakes. We lost them miles ago. They bloody left us, didn't they, down the bottom? We used all their energy. I think, well, I'm not sure what gear their stick's in right now. It's very steep, but we've caught up with the Oaks. Beautiful van. I'm so glad I converted oh. you to be here. I need a nap. One leg. Ooh. Get there. How much extra weight do you reckon that is? You've done well, Bobby. You've done really well. I'm very proud of you. I'm very happy. Good morning. I don't even want to know what I look like, to be completely honest with I'll you. I'll tell you, you look beautiful. Oh. We got home. Realistically, I needed a shower, but was I about to walk up to the shower block? Absolutely not. And we forgot our shower curtain, so we couldn't shower in the van. But this morning, I can't go for a shower yet because I've heard there's a place for wild swimming. Whoa, hold on, are you washing up? Yeah, I know. There's something wrong with you today. Yeah, it might flare though. Well, no one actually to do that. No, it's not only my job. Yeah, I know, but it was annoying me. A day full of fun. As you can see, every morning the condensation is crazy. So we've bought one of these bad boys. Does the job. I'm at the age now where if someone got me this for Christmas, I wouldn't be mad. That's the kind of gift I like these days. When we were saying about where are we going to spend our anniversary, we knew we were so last minute that it had to be a van trip which we weren't like completely upset about. But then I was like, I know, like one place, my home, my home nation. I was like, let's go to Wales because it's so beautiful. And I feel like when you live here, you take it for granted. And I never really kind of like took it in. So we were like, yeah, let's go to Wales. But one thing I forgot about Wales and I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it because I've lived here 19 years. It's always raining, always. It's always raining. Every time we come down to visit my family, it's raining. When I lived here, 80% of the year, it is raining. Can you guess what it's doing now? It's raining. My hen wat vung ha daion, and will he me? You still up for that lake dip? No. Yes, you are! You're not cowarding on me again. Right, well, we all know I don't like to be one to moan. But I'm just wondering why we're doing this again. Because again, this is an optional thing. The same as yesterday. We don't have to do this. Because this whole trip, I've decided, is about making ourselves uncomfortable. Well, it's certainly doing that. Why have you got a pool noodle? Why have you not got a pool noodle? <laughs> wow, I really have seen it all. Listen, I'll hand wash them in the sink, don't you worry. I should have bought my damn walking boots. <laughs> to tell you. Yeah, There's the water. I've got a bit of groin pain, to be honest. Oh yeah, that's, oh God. I think I might just stick a toe in and call it a day. <laughs> I've actually got a completely wet underfoot. Do you know what? We could cut this pool noodle in half and have half each. Wow. Oh wow, look what we've uncovered when you follow me. Just follow daddy and look what you see. Oh. What? Is it not, can I not say daddy when Coz is not here? I feel like I, I say it. You always call me daddy now. Yeah, I know. <gasps> oh my God, <laughs> I've nearly snapped my ankle. Although I will say Crocs in sports mode are pretty good walking shoes. Look at that. That's lovely that is. That looks cute, we can get in there. What are we doing? What are we doing? This was your idea. Oh, I feel like it's going to be so cold. Oh <laughs> my. <laughs> What is going... Right, I'm not What's happy wrong? with that. So first it's the pool noodle and now it's that. <laughs> I look like a... I look like I should be called like Granny Goggins. Smith. No, you look like you should be called Samantha. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You just do. Oh, is that not hurting your feet? Yeah. Oh, ah, ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where are you going? God. Oh, wow. That is freezing. How do you stay in for that long? Is that not hurting your feet? Yeah. Ah! 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 Ah!
So what I've learned is if Liana has an idea, don't do perhaps don't do it because that is painful. Liana's dragging me out into the cold because apparently she's got something exciting to show me. Oh, so sore. Well, let's see how exciting it really is. Why are we going into the wilderness? There's no way I'm following you in there. Why not? Well, I don't, I don't know. Where, where, what about the grass snakes? What grass snakes? Is that a thing? Yeah? Have I really got an adventure over there with you? Yeah. Right, um, I'm not being funny, but you've, you've always found... Whoa, oh! Wow, you be careful. <laughs> you always find the boggiest parts. Right, here we are. Here we are. What, what is that exactly? <laughs> well, you know, when you go... I don't know if we've mentioned, but this is technically wild camping. I call it semi-wild camping because there is facilities here. But it is... Just a van in the wilderness. You've got a <laughs> hammock. Oh, it's like a tree hammock. Whoa. Right, so I'm just going to go back to the van. Let no, me know I'm going to need help. Oh, oh gosh. We'll see how this goes. Ah, ah. Around the tree. But it's just not holding. Right, let's try that again. Is that the cut? Why is it not holding? You're not doing the knot right. I am, I haven't looked at the instructions. You can't be, because that was a very weak knot. It goes through there, right? It goes around and in, and then it goes through there. But it just slides off. I don't get it. Let me, do you want me to have a go? Maybe, do you want to read the instruction bit? No, I, no, 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 no. I mean, it looks pretty safe. <laughs> if you fall, um, well, I don't know what to tell you. Nah, you'd be fine. You think? Nope, I have no idea. <laughs> 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 Someone tells me that's not on properly. <laughs> Try again. And I did it as tight as I could as well. Just because I did the knot does not mean I'm liable if you fall. Okay? <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, you're in. <laughs> I'm scared to put my all into it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I'm turning into a cocoon. So flat, <laughs> like it was just a blur. Well, we've just had some lovely news whilst we're away on our anniversary trip. <laughs> oh my god, I'm all pink. I look like a piece of bacon. I've just realised. You realized. do, and that's what we had for breakfast. Uh, yeah, well, you are what you eat, aren't you, really? That's what they say. So we thought we'd quickly talk about this just because we've just heard the news ourselves. Well, actually, we haven't heard anything, but I did just check our bank statement <laughs> and we've received a tiny sum of money from yeah, our uh, old... I think we should have a little recap first for those who don't really know what's going on. Okay. So basically, we had to leave our last house mid-tenancy um, because we were getting mold and damp problems like there was literally water flooding into the roof there was black mold my eczema was going crazy long story short we thought everyone was on the same page they understood that we wanted to leave early because our health was deteriorated mentally and physically which pretty much showed when we left the house and everything pretty much got better no rash on anyone's face my breathing was absolutely fine we spent a lot of money ourselves kind of like fixing or not fixing but trying to deal with like the mold and damp. Yeah, so we bought two dehumidifiers, which we'd run all the time, running up our energy bills. They were expensive in themselves. We bought loads of mold products. We bought paint to top up paint where the mold had discolored. Mm -hmm. So we basically put a lot of money into this house that wasn't ours. And when we left, we received two invoices. <laughs> Obviously, you know, like when you leave a house, like it's going to be a kind of like, we want to take this for this and this out of your deposit. Like that's what you pay your deposit for. Yeah. And nine times out of 10, even if there's like nothing to take the deposit for, they'll find something. The landlord will always find something yeah. to, to try and take from the deposit. So we got two invoices. One was for cleaning, which is fine. And one was for painting and decorating, which we already knew were coming. We just didn't expect them to be the sums that they were. Yeah. And the things that they'd listed. When I opened the cleaning fee, I thought, you know what? Yes. Every time you leave, they need to clean the bathroom maybe give everything a little spruce up but we did clean the kitchen ourselves we hoovered we mopped so it was pretty much in the same 
standard yeah, that it was Yeah, I was quite annoyed because we'd spent so much time like personally cleaning it before we yeah. moved out. We knew then... the bathrooms needed cleaning. Yeah, 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 like a proper clean. Yeah, and we knew that the windowsills were covered in mould because that's what we were literally struggling with anyway. That had yeah, probably yeah, just yeah, yeah. come up since we'd been out of the house anyway. But the cleaning fee, I, I don't know the exact figures right now, but <laughs> it was really, really high. It was it was like 500 quid, wasn't it? Was it was coming up to, more. it was four, 500 pounds. And bear in mind, you know how small our last house was. Yeah. There was a living room, a kitchen and three bedrooms. Yeah. One of them we didn't even use. It was literally a morgue for flies, honestly. I don't even know how they were getting in. The other one was Cozy's room and then our room. We had nothing in them, just a bed, literally. There was nothing in them, so I don't know where this cleaning bill has come from. So that was literally red flag number one, pretty much getting overcharged for the cleaning bill. We looked at the cleaners that they they used, and the charge was like £14 an hour. Yeah, and it worked out that they were working something like two or three days just to clean that tiny house. You can do your division yourself, like <laughs> £400, £14 an hour. How many hours is it taking this cleaning company to do. When we raised the flag, they were like, oh no, this is like the going rate. And I think to myself, it's not what it says on their website. So not sure where that fees come from. And it was very contra... I can't say the word contradictory. Con contradictory. Loads as of well. contradictions. As in, in like, for example, in the cleaning, it was like we're gonna have to s magic sponge all the walls. Which gets marks off if you don't but know. Magic sponge is in like the a decorating mark fee, eraser. He's painting all the walls. Yeah. So what? So why are you using a magic sponge to get marks off the walls if you're just gonna repaint the walls? Which, by the way, is fair wear and tear for someone that's rented a property. Yeah. I don't think there was anything wrong with the walls and the, the paint was cheap and it came off with a swipe. This is my honest opinion. Because we left early and we cut the contract and fair enough, the landlady was nice enough to let us leave because she didn't have to do that. She could have locked us in for a year. We would have had to move and carry on paying rent in that house anyway, but she yeah. didn't do that. She let us leave because now they've got to list the property, get someone else in, which pff, I think they'll be lucky to do because I think <laughs> we rushed into it. We're so dumb. We're still new to this kind of like thing. We're, we're really impulsive we're, as well. We're so impulsive because it was the summer. Everything was way more beautiful. Oh. Obviously there was no damp because it was dry outside. It was one of them where the issues didn't rise and until we lived there. We lived there, which mm -hmm. sucks. And because we're not buying the house, we can't get a surveyor. It doesn't work like that. When you're renting, everything's supposed to be ready for the tenant to move in. So we basically put all of our trust in them. Well, well that's the whole point of the estate agent. Yeah, they're supposed to be the ones to, to make you feel Check a bit more safe and, and secure, yeah. which clearly they did a pretty bad job of that. The decorating fee as well came from a carpenter and joinery company. Yeah. Uh, a whopping, t just to paint the walls, a whopping s nearly 700 pounds, was it? 600 and something pounds? No, it was 700 pounds. 700 pounds? Yeah, it was over 700 pounds to paint walls. From And, and by the way, <laughs> this, this was invoiced the first invoice they sent apparently was the wrong address. Yeah. The estate agent said, oh, yeah, it's going to be £700. I said, can I have the invoice, please? And they were like, oh, yeah, uh, we're just trying to get that because, you know, it was a, it was a, the wrong address was on the invoice. Said, what? This is an absolute mess. So, <laughs> they, so, yeah, so that's absolutely ridiculous. Why would it be that much to paint? And why are they hiring a carpenter to paint? What? Do you know what? It's so it's so strange because it's at this point, right? I'm sat there, I'm looking at this invoice, and I'm thinking, hmm, and I'm reading the name of the company, and I'm thinking, what kind of business is charging this much to paint walls? So I'm searching for this company. I search their business name. Oh, no Facebook page, no government page, no Instagram, no website. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna Google the phone number that was associated to it. Not listed anywhere. Tell you what. Let's give it a ring. Okay, so we're gonna ring the number that was on the invoice for the painter and decorator, um, and we're gonna see how they answer it, if they answer it, if it's even a number. A joinery business that's doing painting and decorating. You have called, it's not recognized. Doesn't even exist. <laughs> the number doesn't even exist. The mobile number you called is currently unavailable. Please try wow, that's it. That's a bit sus, isn't it? So not only does the business number just not exist, but the mobile number that was listed is unavailable right now. They're not unavailable anymore. Oh, please be a voicemail. The number you have dialed cannot accept this call. Please hang up. <laughs> One of the numbers isn't even a number. And the other number... Just, just rings through. Just... They never answer. Yeah. What kind of a business doesn't answer their phone? And I searched the address on the um, invoice as well, and it's just a regular house somewhere. 
which which is fine because it could be like a, a sole trader or whatever yeah but um there's no business associated with the address so all i'm saying is that invoice looks very dodgy it looks a bit dodgy but obviously we're not here spreading allegations <laughs> because at the end of the day it's not that deep i'm just not paying that much for cleaning or decorating it's absolutely ridiculous so obviously we are disputing it like liana just said we've sent that off because i can't believe they're trying to take this much money off us but the worst part is <laughs> they've already taken the money i've just looked at our bank statement and we've been sent the amount that's left as if like we've agreed we said we want to dispute it and they've just gone ahead and given the landlady most of the money and given us back the tiniest amount as if to say oh it's all done yeah as if to say you're not allowed to dispute it kind of thing without even asking us and that was our money our money was sitting in that pot not theirs they can't decide what happens with it i don't know i don't know i just i just think it's a bit cruel a bit cruel i just think yeah they made a family of three with a baby live in a moldy house that they i'm sorry they clearly hid all the issues yeah. all fresh paint new carpet i'm sorry they knew there's no way they, painted they didn't know it, yeah. about the issues in this house. Yeah, it's, it's... neighbours saying that there was water running through it at some point. Mm. Yeah, we, there's so many things Factory that we've heard from neighbours. Factory across the road that nobody mentioned, literally pouring smoke into our garden through our windows. Yeah, so our, our little thought process is because the person that owns that house owns the whole estate, the carpenter that's painting the house is just someone that works on the estate and she's they've pulled, they've pulled a out quote of out of their bums to try and take as much money as they possibly can Ish. we wanted to stay yeah, here We're I, doing I, it on purpose. I just wish you could argue kind of like valid point like they wouldn't accept this but like for example i wish i could say like i want to invoice you for the amount of money i had to spend moving house we spent hundreds just moving into that house thinking wow this is our home yeah, but then for the moving next few years. out of it and then we had to move out again oh. we're at a ma basically in this whole process of the last house we did it to save money actually we downsized as you guys know we ended up just losing so much money in that it just all together the moving yep. process there and out and then managing the mold and da like mice in our van oh the mice bed. in our van caused so many issues we Ripped had to get rid apart. of we had to get rid of some furniture that mold had sp spread to honestly it's just that house i just wish Health we never problems. found that house that's if i could turn back time i wish we never found it but it's done now well it's not done no, well, <laughs> no that bit's over that we don't live there anymore we're out i'm not gonna get caught up on that it's just the yeah. fact that they're rubbing the salt in the wounds by now taking more offers when we're actually already at loss we're i love in, the house we're in now yeah i was gonna say that we're actually in a nice house now we've actually um we're renting a barbecue tonight because oh. we don't actually have one we should just get a travel one yeah what kind you can get like a small travel one that can cook well, there's only two of us and when cozy's yeah, here but what type of barbecue what do you mean what type of just barbecue? just like a like a fire pit type barbecue or like electric barbecue electric or... do you know what we're, we're off grid as well by the way we're seeing how long we can go off grid and we're, we're doing pretty well we're fully off grid although we did drive to snowden yesterday which yeah yeah charges recharges up. the battery so but yeah we're running fully off grid yeah. and we've not had any issues projector going we've been Phones cooking charging. yeah laptops charging cameras charging we're doing all right yeah, yeah we are doing all right you know what i'm having no a great time up. the only thing is i miss my cozy boy oh i miss him so, so much. much riz et poule or curry you're not making me a chicken curry are you i am it is riz et poulet poule what uh, is a risette poulet? Rizé oule a curry. Why are you making me a risette poulet? I'll have a... Right, wait. Can't I just have a korma? Rice and chicken curry. What is it? Why is it in a bag? Freeze dried French poultry. Add water and mix. You can't make me eat that. That's lovely, that is. Listen, add a bit of water to that and it'll be just like homemade from the Chinese shop. I don't think it will. It will. Serves two! Oh, that's lovely. Serves that two, it says! Oh, no, I, I'm not in the mood for curry. <laughs> oh, no, it says serves one. Apparently there's naan bread in there as well, somehow. That's lovely! And now we close it up, look. Does it smell nice? Yeah, it smells fantastic. Good. Close it up and we leave it ten minutes and that should be ready for you. Dinner yes. ready soon. Homemade. There's something so wrong about this, and I don't know why I'm the one. Why have I got to do this? I purchased it for you out of the love of my heart. There's nothing wrong with these. I've seen people eat them loads. I just am unsure why you've thought, oh, I'm making homemade curry. Actually, I'll just give you a bag. I'm going for a big forkful. Don't die. Why would I die? Because there's peanuts on the picture. Yeah. There's also naan bread on the picture. Why? 
Why do I hear crunch? I don't know. I'm going in for one more. I mean, I guess it's no different to a pot noodle. Is it good? Except for the crunch. The chicken doesn't taste very chickeny. I mean, it does say that there's only 15% meat in this. Yeah, the rest is rice and curry and naan bread. Good morning, we're just about to leave. We've packed up, the van is indeed, what do you say? The, the batons. The batons. The, the, the hatchets the hat, have been, been batoned. Batoned. The batons, the, the how, how many? We're playing badminton. We're playing badminton. <laughs> so the van's ready to go, which means we're leaving. It's been an amazing few days. <laughs> so last night we just kind of chilled. Um, we watched a couple of films. No, we watched one film, then a bit of YouTube. Um, we've ha I've had a, a lovely weekend. I have. Have you? It's, it's kind of like, I'm actually quite sad. Bittersweet. Because, yeah, 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 because I miss my cosy. Oh my and... gosh, all we've been saying the whole time is how much we miss cosy. And then when but you swipe through your phone, yeah. you see like a really cute video of him and it's like... Oh, but it's... like, you need that alone time in your relationship. But also, we always say this, and to like, to be the best parents to cosy, it's so important that we get breaks here and there, even if well, it's just yeah, a couple of hours. take care of our relationship. Yeah, it's so important to get that time. Um, but we're so lucky again we've said it before that the, he just loves going to his grandparents house so we're very extremely lucky and we know that but we've had a great weekend and it's time to go home it's time to see our little cozy boy this look what Connor got me for anniversary oh yeah it's not actually said. our anniversary yet but um I I had if you look like back in the video and look at what necklace I had on it was basically a three pound version of the necklace that he got me and the necklace I had which was very cute and by the way I picked that one out as yeah, well yeah you did it's not one I would have picked up but I loved it and I yeah. kept it on and it was starting to go brown because it was like one of them like three pound ones yeah but it was cute so now I've got a proper one that I can wear and hopefully it won't turn brown that was my little anniversary present. Even though it's not actually our anniversary, I wanted to kind of give it to her, so I gave it to her last night. While we were away. We'll we don't usually do gifts, by the way. Well, no, I we didn't, don't. I, don't, I, didn't I know, I just anything. felt that you... I, I just really wanted to get you something this year because, I don't know, I just feel like you deserve it, Batman, and I love you more than... <laughs>